morning, everybody. I have a special guest with us today, my son, Vincent. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> we are going to start story time today with singing our hello song. Are you ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Great job. I almost messed up. That's okay. We all mess up sometimes, and you just jumped right back in and finished up great. So today, I'm going to talk to you about food. Do you guys like food? Meat is good. Steak is good. Meat is good. But what about fruits and vegetables? Apples are delicious. And it's, you know, bananas are good too. And so are oranges. What's your favorite fruit? That is delicious too. Well, it's funny that you did say apples because my first book today is called Hungry Bunny, and it has to do with apples. This book is by Claudia Rida. Here I come. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Can you hear my tummy rumbling? I'm one hungry bunny. It's time for a red, delicious, and hard to reach apple. Maybe you could help. Maybe you could shake, please. You can shake so that the apples fall down. Can you guys shake for me? Not the leaves. Could you please blow the leaves away? <sighs> Very good. Thank you. That is so much better. Oh no, my scarf has blown away too. It's stuck in the book and I am still hungry. Yeah. See this scarf up there? Oh, Maybe we funny. can get that for him too. I, you get that so I'm big? Yeah. Do you think I'm big enough, tall enough to reach a tree? Yeah. Could you please grab my scarf for me? Grab. Grab. Save it for later. Will you please place the scarf right here and hold it tight so I can climb, climb, climb up the tree to get my apples? All right, grab your scarves and hold them tight. And now pretend to climb with the bunny and pick your apples. We've got one, two, three, four, five apples. Five apples. Just one more, he says. Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Why, yes, I can. Thank you. Whoops. I'm running late. What an uphill battle. An uphill battle? Well, wait a minute. Why am I walking up when you can fix that for me? If you just tilt the this way, I won't be going up anymore. I'll be going downhill. Easy as pie. Now, 
My wheels are turning. Why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock back and forth like we're on a bunch of bumps? Zowie! Let's keep going! And get ready to turn around! Woo! Wow, he's really having some fun on that wagon. Uh-oh, get ready to tumble! They hit a rock. He crashed. Oops. I guess I upset the apple cart. Now, where are all of my apples? Here they are. Can you help me pick these up? Very good. On the road again. But wait, what's this? It's a hole that he could fall into. Hey, do you guys remember keeping my scarf for me? I think I'm going to need some help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Can you put your finger right there? Hold it tight. And then we'll put it across for him to walk. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. Where do you think the bunny lives? In this tiny hole, that's right. Um, uh-oh, I'm stuck. Would you give me a little push, please? Shh. Well, right on time for mom's apple pie. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Mm-hmm. And we even saved a piece for you. Okay. How many of you guys like apple pie? They are delicious. I like all kinds of pie, of course, but I also love apples just like themselves. What other things can we make with apples? Apple dumplings, apple crisp, and yes, those apples are great ways to use apples, too. <laughs> yeah. Now I also have a basket back here with fruits and vegetables in it. And what I'm going to do is have Vincent here pick it out of my basket and hold it up so that we can guess what it is. You can tell me what color it is. And you can also tell me if it's a fruit or a vegetable. Are you ready? First we have, what do we have here? Grapes. grapes, that's right. And what color are the grapes? Purple, that's right. And is a grape a fruit or a vegetable? Actually, it is a fruit. What do we have next? Can you hold it up for everybody to guess? We have, oopsies, it broke. We have corn. What color is corn? That's right. And is corn a fruit or a vegetable? That's right, it's a vegetable. Next we have a carrot. And what color is our carrot? Orange, that's right. And is carrot a fruit or a vegetable? It is a vegetable, very good. So let's put it in our vegetable pile. Next we have and orange, very good. And what color is on this fruit? Orange. orange, that's right. That must be where it got its name from. And it is a fruit. 
Next we have, hold it up for everybody. It is an apple, very good. And what color is our apple today? Green. And is an apple a fruit or a vegetable? It is a fruit. So let's put it in the fruit pile. Now, if you guys have play food at home, this will be a great time for you to go through what you have and sort it too. What did we pull out of the basket next? Broccoli. And what color is broccoli? Green. And is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. Very good. We'll put it in the vegetable pile. All right, we have enough time for just a couple more. What do we have next? Can you hold it up for everybody? A strawberry. Very good. Strawberries are delicious. And what color is a strawberry? Red. And it has a green stem. Very good. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? It is a fruit. Very good. All right, would you like to go ahead and pick out another one for us? Oh, this is a good one. What do we have here? A banana. A banana. Very good. And what color is a banana? It is yellow. And if it's not ripe yet, it's green. And a really cool thing is, is if it's too ripe, it turns brown. Yes, and when it's ripe, we can turn it into a banana bread. Now, is this a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit. It is a fruit. Very good. We'll go ahead and put it in the fruit pile. We have two left. What do we have next? Grapes. And what color are our grapes? Today they are purple. We also have green grapes too, which are delicious. And is a grape a fruit or a vegetable? We already got one of these. It's a fruit, that's right. And the last thing we had in our basket today is, we already had can we hold this up for everybody? A tomato, very good. And what color is a tomato? It is red and it has a green stem. Now, do you guys know if a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? A lot of people said it was a vegetable and I'm actually told it's a fruit. And if you don't believe me, just like I didn't believe it, look it up for yourself. It is a fruit. How neat. Well, now that we've finished sorting our fruits and vegetables, let's go ahead and get another book. This book is about yummy, delicious cookies. How many of you guys like chocolate chip cookies? I know I do. This book is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, and it is by Laura Numroth. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. And when he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pale pair of nail scissors. And when he's finished giving himself a trim, he will want a broom to sweep it up. And then he'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. 
he may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. And he'll crawl in and make himself comfortable and fluff the pillows a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. And he'll ask for paper and crayons. And he'll draw a picture. And when he's finished with the picture, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang the picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawings and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he is going to want a cookie to go with. You have milk for us right there. Well, how fitting, because the activity I have in our bag is cookies. It's so we have milk to go with our project, our cookies. That's right. We have a big milk and a little milk. So in our bags, I'm going to have an activity. C is for cookie. So we're going to rip up little bits of paper. We're going to draw a C and then we're going to put the bits of paper on here in the shape of a C and draw chocolate chips on there so that we can make a C is for cookie picture to hang on our refrigerators at home. All right, for my last book, I have What's on My Plate? And with Thanksgiving coming up and all of the tasty foods we can eat, I thought it was a good time to talk about what size portions we should eat and how to stay healthy. Before that, though, I thought we could sing Popcorn Kernel. Do you guys want to sing Popcorn Kernel with us? Go ahead and find your scarves. And we're going to bottle them all up in our hands. You wanna go ahead and put this in your hands? All right, are we ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in a pot, in a pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Till it pops, till it pops. Great job. Do you guys want to sing it again? Yeah. All right, let's ball them up. Let's get it in our hands. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it till it pops, till it pops. Great job. All right. So this book was written by Jennifer Boothyard. It is important to eat food. We need food. It's time to eat because food gives our bodies energy. What is your favorite meal? Yum! Well, food also gives our bodies nutrients. Nutrients help us stay healthy. Different foods have different nutrients. There are five main food groups. We should eat foods from each group every day. Each of these foods from one of the five food groups are fruits and vegetables just like we talked about earlier. Fruits and vegetables are two important food groups. 
They are a large part of a healthy diet. We already talked about what fruits and veggies we liked, but fruit makes a yummy cereal topping. Bananas and blueberries are fruit, and many fruits taste sweet. Kids your age should eat about one to one and a half cups of fruit every day. That's at least 32 grapes or one large banana. This is vegetables in a salad. Broccoli and peas are vegetables, so people like to eat cooked vegetables. Some people also eat them raw. You should eat about one and a half cups of vegetables each day. 18 baby carrots or three stalks of celery are the right amount. It's important to eat different types of vegetables. Vegetables make your meal colorful too. Next in our food group, we have grains. Grains are plants like wheat, oats, and rice. Many types of bread are made from grains. Some grains are called whole grains. Whole grains have more nutrients than refined grains. Refined grains have been milled or ground up. Milling removes some of the grain's nutrients. So when possible, eat brown rice and oatmeal. They are whole grains. White rice and plain bagels are made from refined grains. They still can be good for you. Whole grain cereal makes for a healthy breakfast. Don't forget to add your fruit. Try to choose a cereal without a lot of sugar. You should eat about five ounces of grain foods each day. Half should be whole grains, eating one cup of cornflake cereal, one cup of whole wheat noodles, and a small tortilla is enough grains for one day. Then we have proteins and dairy. Meat and eggs have lots of protein. Our bodies use proteins to grow muscles. Eating an omelet can help build muscles. Grilled chicken has a little bit of fat. Too much fat can be bad for your heart. Chicken and fish are good meats to eat. They often have less fat than other types of meat. That makes them a healthy choice. Not all proteins come from animals. Nuts and beans have proteins too. Nuts are a tasty and crunchy protein source. You could try making a trail mix for a healthy snack. Four ounces of high protein foods is what you need each day. You can get one ounce of protein from 12 almonds or one egg. This is an egg and veggie sandwich and it makes for a great lunch. Many dairy foods come from cows. Dairy foods have calcium. Calcium makes bones grow strong. Skim milk has no fat and lots of nutrients. Milk is a dairy food. It is used to make yogurt and cheese. Mmm, two of my favorite healthy snacks right in one. Choose dairy foods carefully. Some of these foods have too much fat. A slice of Swiss cheese on a sandwich and two cups of milk gives you all the dairy that you need. Your body needs 2.5 cups of dairy every day. Sometimes foods are foods that are not so healthy for you, and these foods don't have very many nutrients either. They also might have too much sugar. Candy and soda have a lot of sugar, and too much sugar is bad for our teeth. These candies are full of sugar, so it's okay to eat a little bit, but we don't want to eat a lot of it. Other foods have too much fat. French fries and ice cream have a lot of fat and sugar in them as well. Cake is a sometimes food. 
These are foods we should eat only sometimes for special occasions like birthdays or holidays. People need to make good choices to have a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet gives you energy to work and play. So I have a fun activity for you guys also in your bags. It's called What's on My Plate? And you will cut all of these foods out and you will place them in the correct areas and make a healthy meal. And you can make all different kinds of combinations so it's a great way to play and have fun. We were also talking about Thanksgiving coming up and it's a great time for you to get a little bit of everything on your plate. So when you're making your plates for Thanksgiving, make sure you try to get some of your meat for your protein, some of your vegetables, hopefully fruit, and of course your grains. All right, well until next week, I will talk to you later.